Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Raise your two hands above your head. Everybody you have carried to this mountain. I speak to those that have faith. I decree it is rolled away. Oh my God. I decree it is rolled away. And Jesus Christ was buried inside the tomb. And suddenly an angel came. Rolled the stone away. And God the mortar rose from the dead. And he that was coming to look for the dead found the living. I speak over some people over under the sound of my voice. Online, on site, wherever you are, I connect you and I decree every obstacle's burden in your heart is rolled away. 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 Whatever is bringing sorrow, whatever is bringing sadness, hear the voice of the Lord. Disappear now. Oh, let your joy be full. Who is that person shouting? Amen. Let your joy be full. Let your joy be full. Blessings. Oh, we are the men and women that are ready for this blessing. Raise your two hands above your head. Let the blessing, blessings, blessings, blessings. I stretch forth my right hand to people that are connected. Blessings, 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 blessings. Oh, to receive your blessings. Young, receive your blessings. Everyone under the sound of my voice, receive your blessings. Supernatural supply. Supernatural supply in the name of Jesus it is done your word activates angelic dimension this morning I say it again your word activates angelic dimension this month wherever your provision is locked up angel brought it to you angel go there and they bring it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God will change you. The word of God will establish you. The word of God will transform you. The word of God will lift you. The word of God will make you different. Glory to Jesus. Somebody speak bless. Somebody shout bless. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. In a time like this, nobody operates on fallacies or assumptions. Your level of attaining into spiritual dimension and establishing into great grace for your life is actually being able to conquer assumptions and fallacies, but hooking into the confidence that you have in God on a daily basis. Until you understand that in this time that we are in in the world, we refuse to operate by what is happening and we begin to operate by what God has provided for us in his kingdom. Then you will begin to enjoy the dividend of being a son of God. So we have come to understand that men that operate in assumptions, men that operate in fallacies, men that operate in the economic system of this area, we only be struggling and the atmospheric condition of wherever you are operating in will begin to control you on daily basis. So therefore, you must come and move into a higher level that is above here, where you begin to spend the currency of heaven translated and manifested in the currency here perpetually and consistently. So every man and woman that will grow and become what God wants them to be must begin to move and see a different dimension in divine supply in which God has made available for you only if you understand the dimension of God. So this morning, I have come to encourage somebody because the Lord said to me, I will yet make supply available. 
No, don't sit with somebody that cannot get it, what we are talking about. I, I say it again and again and again. The Lord said to me, I will yet make supply available. Amen. When others are stranded, you can't be stranded. Amen. Because supply will be constant, amen. consistent amen. in your life. If you are the one, shout a living amen. amen. So I come to understand by the word of the law that there are patterns that you must understand and you must live in constant continuous abundance of supply on daily basis and this is what i have seen in the word of god and i want to share with you because somebody under the sound of my voice you will always consistently perpetually experience supply Amen. supply won't dry Amen. i can't hear a living hey man supply won't dry it will flow consistently so i've come to show you the pattern you can live with and enjoy consistent supply so i saw that in the scripture as we look at just that scripture and we will begin to draw some wisdom from it this morning and we pray look at that scripture Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. I know you know it often, but join me to read scripture loud and clear. Make sure your voice is louder than somebody beside you as we read the word of God together. One, two, go. The Bible says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ. Can I hear a resounding? Amen. Turn to somebody beside you, eyeball to eyeball. Repeat that scripture again. One, two, go. Be a prophet to that person. One, two, go. And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Somebody shout a living amen. Can you turn to somebody beside you? Is a word of prophecy this morning. Look at that person. Eyeball to eyeball. Shout that scripture again. One, two, go. And my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Oh, shall they live in amen? Can you say that to yourself? One, two, go. And my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ. If you have said that, shall they live in amen? Wherever you go today, this week, for the rest of this year, it is divine supply. I don't have time to begin this morning to begin to tell you and probably next Sunday I will begin to talk about and because before this prophecy because before this dimension of provocation of the spirit came before this dimension of war of prophecy and blessing came from Paul and has taken place is somebody following me and as what taking place because there is no and he, and is a conjunction something take, took place before this statement is somebody following me but i'm not going there today i hope god will grant me grace to get to hand and we will deal with and for several days we will deal with and for several months and but my concern today is my god somebody shout my god I, I don't know if you have God. I want you to shout, my God. Hey, is somebody under the sound of my voice, yeah? And my God. There is a dimension that makes things happen if you have this God. My God. There is a movement that happens in a man's life if you have this God. And I saw in the word of the law that Paul we not talk about myself because yourself can be powerless yourself can be it can be can can be incapacitated but not my god oh my god i said not my god my god you know sometimes you want to fast you want to pray sometimes you want to wait do all the sacrificial giving everything that you know how to do in your power in your capacity but when god step in you forget all those things somebody help me shout my god can i hear my god people around this place can you shout my god 
there is a dimension you can move air on earth until my God show forth. When God show forth, every other thing disappear. When God show forth, see until you understand this dimension of my God, you might not move far in divine supply. I want somebody to shout than your neighbor, my God. Hey, my God. My God. You know, it's not only when you are in trouble that you should shout, My God. Uh, am I communicating to somebody? Yeah? It's not only when you are looking for something that you should shout, My God. I want you to know that if you understand this dimension of God, things begin to happen to you. Can you help me shout? Push somebody away. Shout, My God. My God. Oh, excuse me. There is a dimension from the word of Paul that said, My God. In other words, I build no confidence in man. I am building my confidence in God. I build no confidence in any mortal thing. Not even connection of men. Not with politicians. Not with leaders. Not with government. But I build my confidence in who? Why are you sitting with somebody that cannot join me to preach today? You build confidence in who? Do you notice pastors? Do you notice that scripture? It is not your God. It doesn't, it doesn't have me. I don't want to know who you serve as your God. But I know. I know who I believe. It is my God. He is my God. He is my God. Can I speak to somebody here? Yeah? Who you know matters in destiny. Who you know matters in destiny. A man may know president and come out to speak. Bole, I am friend to Tinubu. And when he's speaking, he's speaking with audacity because he's connected to a mere man, a man that can grow today and die in the evening, a man like a flower that will blossom in the morning but before evening he has dried all, and we use it as ah, 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 we set fire on them. But Paul said, Excuse me, strength in man is useless, but I have to stand on who I, 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 I have to stand on who. If you like, if you have that God, shout, I know God. Ah, my God. I want to introduce to you a man that can never fail any battle. I want to introduce to you a God that can fight your battle and even you, the owner of battle with Yano like this. I want to introduce to you a God that when he step into a case, you go to sleep. A God that when he enter into, oh my God, he enter into the prison without announcement, without information, chains fell. The man that could not stand, the man that was no old, rose all and came out. And as he was coming, doors were opening on their call. Can you shout, my God? Oh, am I speaking to living church in this meeting? Let me shout, my God. I have confidence in my God. He has never failed any battle. He spoke to Moses. He said, Moses, hear me. This battle is no longer your battle. It has become mine. And Red Sea and Pharaoh, they will be drowned. Red Sea will give way. And because I am in charge, raise your right hand and celebrate your God. I think this is the way the Lord wants to do today. It is about my God. Let me tap somebody beside you who you know. Let me tap somebody who you know. I can't hear you. Let me preach this morning. Tell who do you know? Who do you know? I may not have connection with senators. I may not have connection with presidents. I may not have connection with governors. I may not have connection with oh my god. Peter and John said, Sliver and gold I did not have. But that which I have, I have God. Oh, oh somebody raise your hand and shout, I get God. Stop looking down on yourself, madam. You have God. He's the one that cannot fail. It does not matter the planet that sat before you. You have God. They are not greater than your God. Paul shout. He shouted. He said, My God. My God. 
my God, my God, my God, my God. You know why you are seated like that and you did not understand what you are? It is because you have not seen this God in action. He is the one that we make, we make encounter to happen and give you experience. This is the God I'm talking about. He shouted. He said, my God. I am not connected to men, but I'm connected to the man that created man. Oh, my God. That business cannot die because your God is at war. Oh, my God. That womb is not dead because your God is living there. My God. Somebody help me join. Shout, my God. My God, my God, who has concluded that you are a failure? <laughs> who has concluded you are a failure? What will you say? I can't hear living so. What will you say? Who has concluded that you cannot make it? What will you say? Who has concluded that it is impossible? What will you say? They don't know your God, He specializes in impossibilities. Can I hear somebody shout, My God? Let's take a look at that scripture. Look at what Paul said. Paul said, My call is my God is personal. Is what you have to be personal with God this year. Can I speak to somebody under the sound of my voice? You have to be personal with who with God this year. Excuse me, there is nothing called collective God. If you don't know Him, you don't know Him. I know Him for myself, for myself, for myself, and for myself and anywhere i stand i am personal about him so when anybody is hiding god i can't hide him because i know him personally the three sons of hebrew they came before the king the king said shut up don't call your god he said we it is impossible if you know what this god has done you are not going to stop me from calling him hear me oh king even if the God I saw is not able to deliver me, I will yet call his name. Let me shout my God. Oh, are you here with me? Why are you sitting with somebody that is melancholy? Please touch that person. Let me shout this moment. Shout this moment. Shout this moment. My God. He said, he said, and here right there, they drew them inside the inside the terrible fire as they were landing the fire became hazy and he said the king that threw them there came to testify i have a good news for somebody i don't know who i'm speaking to here no 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 there is an anointing in this house that tells me that when your testimony comes they will not say that it is only you there they will testify that your god has appeared before them let me shout my God he who is looking for your downfall will see your God oh am I speaking to living so here he who is looking for your downfall will see your God he who is looking for your downfall will see your God oh all those people that are gathering together to see your shame to see your shame to see your shame yeah this god i have come to introduce to you in this service is a come that will turn shame to celebration it will shock them oh please give somebody high five and say my god will shock them i can hear somebody give them high five and say my god will shock them oh why are you seated with somebody that is mute help me shout we are doing the preaching together today help me give somebody i pass or give somebody I, my god will shock them do you have god in this meeting can you shout my god i have a father that will never never fail i have a father Jesus is my father. Never, I have a The Lord will settle that issue. He's not going to 
will be because who you know is because it's because of God you serve. He will resolve that issue. Can I hear a living name? Are you sure you have a God that can never fail? Every failure written against you is cancelled. Every delay against you is destroyed. Can somebody jump and shout, My God! It is personal. It is personal. The way you are doing it, you are not personal about it. It is personal. It is personal. It is personal. My God, in whom I saw, will not let me die. It is personal. Oh God. Grandma's grandpa relax. The Lord will say to it. Young ones relax. The Lord will say to us. Couples here relax. The Lord is working on your behalf. It is my God. is personal. That is why I don't want to joke with anybody that want to take it away from me. You can't take him away. Oh, it is personal. You can't take him away. It is personal. Excuse me. You don't know God enough. That is why things are tripling you like this. I know who I believe. I know who I believe. The delay is temporary. It may look as if it won't happen. It will happen. Judgment has been passed, but you cannot be judged. Hey. Judgment has been passed, but you cannot be judged. Oh, for there is no therefore condemnation for those that oh my God, raise your two hands and shout, my God. Sit down for a while. Sit down for a while, because we are likely to jump up again. Can I ask you a serious question? Don't just shout. Do you know him personally? I could speak. I could talk. I could, I could shout. I am confident because I know him. I'm confident because I know him. Last month they called me to come and pray for a child that was very sick, and the doctor has given up upon that child. And when I arrived into that house, the parents said to me that pastor just pray for us for holy spirit to encourage us because there is no hope again i said not my god not my god when this my god step into situation even dead things come alive however this one is not there my god i began to speak personally with my relationship with him so because the relationship of the parents is far away from where i am in the name of jesus honor your name because i serve you in jesus name son come alive and i turn back the mother said is that all i said what else it's not about you walking it's about him walking and by the time by 7 p.m in the evening i received a call and when i saw the call i said glory to jesus i was eager to be glory to jesus i'm about to hear testimony and you know what they said they said you put something in your mouth and the boy is dancing and playing around he that they said that nothing can happen life has come back to him i said wow it's not about putting something in mouth. it's about knowing your god i know my god know your God you will get married by faith know your God you will build house by faith know your oh my can you shout my God, my God. that job will they will call you again oh. it's not about you it's about who Kilo de Daka is about who why are you sitting with somebody that cannot shout my God that's why don't worry about people that cannot shout if what you don't have you can't call shout my God it is personal it is what 
You see, forget all this, join your hand and let's call on our God. Hey, no, no. If you don't know the God, you can't do it collectively. It is when I know, he knows, he knows, you know, you know, and we come together, the God will appear. But if you are the one like Achan, you don't know this God. Know him personally. Am I speaking to somebody under the sound of my voice? Just don't jump to supply. Know him. I know him. He's personal. I know him. He's personal. I do you know one funny thing? Even when he promised and you are seeing another thing, he's still my God. He promised that you will, he will do this for you. And you have waited, you have waited, you are waiting, you are waiting. It's not, it's like it's not. Excuse me. Shout at the devil and say, He is still my. You can't take that away from me. He is still my. Am I here? Am I speaking to living souls here? Do you know your God? Do you know your God? And Paul said, My God. I don't want to boast in another person's God. I respect the patriarch, but they, are, they don't have two heads. I respect the patriarch. I honor the patriarch. I appreciate the patriarch. I give glory to God in their life, but they serve only one God. And do you know how Jesus taught us the Lord's prayer? He didn't say, He said, Our Father. You know what? What happened to you can happen to me. It's the same God, the same spirit, but coming in different diversities. If God do it in my life, you can do it in your life. Oh, am I speaking to somebody? If God do it in my life, you can do it in your life. The same God everywhere. Do you know that God? Raise your right hand and shout, I know you, my God. Do you have a personal relationship with him? That is where the problem is. There. Do you have, do you, are you relating with him? Every small thing you must go to prophet. Prophet will call his God. Where is your home God? Every time you go around, if some of you does not even go to prophet again, it is Allah far. That did not even have God. Where is your God? Where is your God? Any Pauske Rubetes Kadoli and that. Listen to me, people of God. Elijah said something that is powerful. He said, Let God, my God, answer by. Did he answer? Did he answer? You didn't answer me in this job. Did he answer? Look at somebody and shout, My God, we answer by fire. Your relationship. Your personal relationship with him. It is personal. It is relational. It is connected. I am connected to most high that can control every man to come. I am connected with most high that can control every man to come. Bringing everything in their hands to me. Hey, I saw something in, 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 in Second King. Very powerful scripture. The woman that was hosting Elisha. Do you remember that woman? was hosting him and was doing great things to uh, to him and everything and one day elijah said elijah said excuse me what did this woman need and they called the woman he said come can we speak to kings for your sake he said excuse me king is limited in what i'm looking for if your god cannot solve it no king can solve it i'm not interested in king you see you have been you have been running after men and they are dribbling you you go and kill from morning to evening they will not come out they will say they are busy because you think it is only men that can solve your problem i tell you if you know this god he will cause men to look for you i was fasting seven days several years back waiting upon the lord and i was crying all through the seven days connect me to great men connect me to great men oh lord connect me to great men connect me to great men oh jesus connect me to great men connect me to great men one day that was the last day seven days the lord came to me the lord said you have wasted prayer seven days why do you allow me to pray like this fast like this he said no that's not the right prayer you should pray that is why in prayer we are not praying by our will we pray by his way he said ask me to make you great automatically you'll be connected to greatness to people that are great i said is that the prayer so i start again seven days <laughs> oh father make me great make me great increase my influence make me great and the lord akin to my voice and he respond to me and from that time onward i began to sit with great people great men great ministers great kings god begin to make me 
a kingmaker. Because I know my God. Please let me tap somebody and preach with me. Who do you know? Do you know your God? This God is capable of doing what no man can do. You need to build a relationship with him. Personal. Fanatica. Build it. Build it. Build it. Build. You have been existing in another person's relationship. You have been existing. So each time you want to say, Oh God of my father, BJ, glory to God. That is why I say, I thank God for Petra. Can you call, Oh God of my God? Build relationship. God that answers me can answer you. The same God that answers Baba Debo is the same God that can answer you. Can you build relationship? Paul came out and said, Hear me. My God. Man in the scripture, Petrarch does not operate in another person's anointing. They build atmosphere for themselves for them to become what God wanted them to be. Raise your two hands above your head and pray in the Holy Ghost. There is a dimension of God that we enter. See it as you, I can't hear me. I said you should pray in the Holy Ghost. Don't economize it. Pray in the Holy Ghost. It's my God. It's my God. Don't sit with somebody that they don't understand this thing. Build it. I come to you, my God. I am bold to say it's my God. I am bold to say it's my God. Go and check in the scripture. People that call him by what they know, he appeared. David said, The Lord is my shepherd. And he never wants. He said, He is my defense and my fortress. Hey, Kabelina, my son, brother, Tosca. He's my God. He's my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The same God that Paul is saying is my God. He was so confident that he said, God is able to do exceedingly. See, he who you know is what you talk about. I'm tired of ministers that did not know God and they are carrying his message. What are you? You are just saying theory. God is calling us into practicality experience of God. I know him. Do you know him? I'm bold to say I know him. It doesn't matter what is happening around me. He is my God. He has me. I know you have prayed for several days, several months, and it's as if God is not hearing. He has ears to hear. He is my God. Even if he's dead, he still hears. However, he's not dead. He's alive. He is alive. He is my God. So the Bible says, look at that scripture. Let's check that scripture again. The Bible says, and my God. What is the next thing you see? Hey, that is the second thing I want to say. It's not enough to know that he is your God. You must understand the imperative. You must be persuaded. You must be convinced that he will. The word shall is an imperative word. A word of command. A word that will not take no for an answer. A word that did not have option. Is somebody here with me? A word that did not have option. A word that is persuaded. A word that is convinced that, excuse me, there is no turning back. He shall supply. Now, until you get to a level of faith in your work with God, that you know that, excuse me, even if it does not happen now, it he shall. That is when you will have everything you want. So when Paul was talking to them, is somebody here with me? He said, my God, but he did not stay at that level. He now expresses that which he knows is God can do. And he did not say, maybe. Hello? Do you see maybe there? You didn't answer me. He said, maybe we supply. No. If we supply. No. He said what? 
can I hear somebody say sha he shall so in, in other words at this point God is handicapped to do any other thing than to do this he will not do any other thing but what this do you know God to the point where you know you are convinced and convinced convinced you are persuaded that he will do it raise your right hand I just want to pray for somebody where your faith is where you are being confused and your faith is becoming little or low receive grace now i speak by mercy let the power that fuel of faith come into your life now in the name of jesus Sha is a major issue for me because most people know god but they don't understand Sha. They know God, but they don't understand this dimension of he cannot change his mind. They know God, but they don't understand the issue that what he say he will do. And that is the God we serve. He said, my God, shall, can you move in a dimension with God to the point that you will be his representative. And you will be talking on his behalf and he will be, he will be forced to do it. Okay. Let me speak to three people under the sound of my voice as a representative of God. Raise your hand. You shall not lack provision. Amen. Did somebody hear what I've just said? You shall not lack provision. Amen. Let your amen be louder than your neighbor. You shall not lack divine supply. Amen. Now, when the Bible says, shall supply all what? Do you see all? You didn't see all. Now, I, I, the first issue there is that it is need, it is not want. It is need, it is not your desire. It is need, it is not your cravings. It is need. Sometimes we need something in the next 10 years and we want it now. And he knows that you don't need it now. You are just praying it. You know what you do? He postpone it. And he gives you what you need. Sometimes what you are praying for, hello? Please, am I still speaking to somebody here? sometimes what you are praying for is what you don't need now because if it comes to you now you are going to ruin yourself i can't imagine my son asking god give me prado so that i can be driving you know what he's inviting to himself hello are you here with me he's inviting something to himself you must understand that if you know this god he knows what you need and what you think you need so he said in a in a prayer to them to the to, to the people of philip he, he said to them my god shall what supply your need not what you don't need the reason why answers is not coming is because what you think you need is to buga and the lord said i will deny him father i need admission I need admission. And the Lord begin to peep into your heart. Do you really need admission? But God now saw that there has been three of your friends that have been making jests of you. That you have not been able to go to university. You now say, ah, I need admission. So that. You see, when you are praying, I need admission. The other voice we are not hearing is so that I can show them. Is somebody here? And the other voice we are not hearing is what God pick. Please, am I communicating with somebody here? Am I communicating with somebody here? You didn't answer me. It is the other voice that we are not hearing that God pick. Eh? Why did you want to engage? You know that you don't have stamina to get engaged in marriage. But you say, hey, hey, oh Lord, bring, shall bring one person bring one person all my friends in the hostel they now have one person ah so the lord here that secret i want to show you know what god said god now send all correct brother away the only brother that have been coming is why so why did we package himself nonsense for god's brother because you are the in you are the one hindering your own what prayer what is your motive I want that business to grow so that I can show them that nothing fails in my hand. It's not about that. The moment that happens, listen to me. Am I communicating with somebody in this church? The moment that happens, something has happened. You want to take the glory that belongs to God. 
and God never share his glory with what? In trouble, Lord, let this church grow. Let this church grow. Why did you want this church to grow? So that you can say to people that you see in our in in what in five minutes in your sermon, you say our church is now growing to five thousand. Five minutes in our church is now growing to five thousand. Our church is now. You see, when I pray like this, the church boom. What is your do you want me to you do you want to preach with me this morning? Yes, Talk somebody gently beside you. What is your motive? What is your motive? What is your motive? Do you know why God did not answer some people? It is because their motive was wrong. Their motive was wrong. Their motive was wrong. They are not, they did not want to carry power. You see, I was praying for I was praying for somebody. For baptism of the Holy Ghost. For more than 30 baptism of the Holy Ghost that is just two minutes. They receive a rambe cattle and somebody. 30 minutes. This person was just was just doing shiri, 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 just shaking. I said, what is all this? I said, come. Ah, what is wrong with you? Open your eyes. He said, eh. He said, yes. You see, the kind of baptism I'm looking for is interpretation of tongue. Huh? And I said, ah. Why do you want the gift of interpretation? Only you see, there are too many people that just in the church, they just say, bah, 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 bah. I will just be interpreting it. And so that I can tell you, shut up, you are saying nonsense. <laughs> will, that ever, will that person ever receive? It's a wrong motive. Excuse me. How will you, because of somebody, to be interpreting all manner of tongue together to receive baptism? So he just wasted my precious 30 minutes. So I carry my bag and I was going to say, ah, I don't waste my time with. People like this. How do you want to receive gift of the Holy Spirit so that you can go and be interpreting people? You now say, speak. They say, shut up. Say, shut up. You are saying nonsense. That's not correct. Your motive for the need we are talking about is important. And God will only answer. Is somebody here? Needs. That is genuine. God will only answer needs that is genuine. Everybody in your, in, in your company, now ask her. You are the only one that did not ask her. And when they are honey in the night, your, your, your room is beside the, beside the gate. You are the one that will go and open. No gate, man. You are the one that, they cannot come down. <laughs> yeah. Every of your devotion, in morning devotion, afternoon devotion, evening devotion, Lord, God, and the Lord is asking, why car? In fact, I have seen some people that will say, Oh Lord, you see our church, we don't have boss, so, and I will be able to gladly release the car you give to us so that we can go and pick students. We will do evangelism. We will do, and God say, and God look deep down and say, uh, everybody in the compound has Lord. Those are the people that when they now have car. Are you getting me? We have name. We say, bring your car. They say, ah, eh, you want to find it because it's big. All you want to do is to love it. Raise your right hand and shout need. I, I want to hear you shout need. Okay, ah, let me shout it. Genuine need. That is what God supply. The Lord shall supply all your need. Now, listen to me. Need is not as many as want. So when we cross, when we are doing 14 days fasting and prayer, we ask people to write what they want God to do. You will see in prophetic assembly, I saw two pages. I said, Ha! My father and my God. Do you know that in all that prayer uh, request, it might be in the face of God that only two that is really the need. So when it comes to asking for need, please, am I communicating with somebody here? You must be specific and know that this is what I really want. So the Lord said, and my God shall supply 
all what? All my name. Let me prophesy to seven people that can shout amen here. I provoke the angelic dimension in this morning service for somebody that can shout amen there. The Lord will provide all your need. Oh, thank you. Thank you for shouting that amen. I want you to shout it again because as you step out today, angel will supply your need. Angel will meet you at the point of your need. I speak again by the word of the Lord. The Lord will supply your needs. I say it again to somebody shouting amen. The Lord will supply your needs. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen to that scripture. He will supply your need. Not according to your government. He will supply your need not according to what you think you need. Is somebody following me? How will he supply your need? According to what? Now, the Lord said to me, the son, the level of riches you can see in me is what we have. That word several years caused me to know him more deeper than ever. Because the more I know him, the more his riches in glory is expressed in me and I get to know him deeper. So if you have always known God as only a Naira supplier, you can't exceed Naira. <laughs> oh my God. Am I speaking to living souls here? If you know God as in charge of all currency, I tell you very soon, you will begin to have it. If you know God that is capable of ill headache, you will discover that all what will be coming your way to ill is what? No, not my grill. You know the headache that people did not sleep well and they just have slight headache and they don't want to take drugs. They now turn you to chemist. Just go and you lay hands on the headache, disappear. An headache will work. If you have not graduated from slight headache to great migraine if they brought migraine you will fire so it will not because you are only operating in the level of the riches you what you know please am i communicating with somebody please are you here with me hello are you are you are you confused are you here so when the bible says according to his riches in glory he is saying to you that Except you can measure my glory, that is when you can measure my supply. If you cannot measure my glory, if you cannot measure my riches, I tell you sincerely speaking, you are going to experience unending provision or ending supply in every area of your life. The supply I'm talking about can be on earth wise. In your earth wise, you will enjoy supply. Spiritually, you will enjoy supply. You know, I pray endless prayer over this night that Lord, I want constant spiritual supply. You know what? When you are dry, you will have nothing to deliver. Every man is like orange. When men squeeze the sweet part, they dump it. But the wisdom of every man that will live and outlive their generation is that when they squeeze a part, you refill. So that by the time they come tomorrow, they can see something to tell. I just hear a word and I want to pray it. Your tree will not, will not lack fruits. Amen. Hey, who is that person shouting amen? Your tree will not lack fruits. Because every tree that you will see, but see people gather, they have something they are getting from it. Is somebody following me? So you must understand as I close that God wants to bless you. You know what the Bible says in Luke? He said, my God we give to you shaking together. Do you remember that scripture? Shaking to together press down, shaking together running over and in that measure he will do what? He will give to you because the God that wants to bless you will never bless you based on what you give, He will give you beyond what you have. What you have given is somebody following me, so He always operate. Oh, He said, Luke 6 38, give and it will be given to you. Good what? 
depressed, shaking, running, will be put into your what? Hello? We are. It will be permanent there. That is the dimension of what God can do. I call you this morning, people of God, that the same God that you know now gave us a vehicle of realizing everything. And what is the vehicle? The Bible says, by Christ Jesus. You know the meaning of that scripture for me? There is nothing you can become without Christ. So I saw many of you praying earnestly, but you lack Christ. You have fasted, you have prayed over, a, over, over an issue, but Christ is not where? It's not there. Look at that scripture. He said, by the riches in his glory, by who? By Christ Jesus. Brother, there is a great thing God wants to do with your life. But Jesus is not there. And God is handicapped. God is what? Is handicapped if Jesus, which is the vehicle to reach you, is not there. Have you settled your relationship with God? Have you resolved that I want to enjoy constant supply, but by Christ Jesus? Yes, yes, actually, I understand that you have become, you have had all the degree you need to have. You are becoming big and God is helping you because you are brilliant. But there are things that you are denied of because Christ is what? Is absent. Christ. 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 Do you know him? Can you submit yourself to him? It is the measure in which you know this Christ that you become. So I heard the voice of the Lord. The Lord said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Stop praying for divine supply. If the one that will bring it to you, you are far from. Bow down your heart and speak to God. I want to resolve the issue with some few people here. They have not submit their life to Christ. You have just said, My God, but you did not know Christ. Christ that will take you, that will usher you to his presence. You did not know him. Say to it quickly because we have one, two prayer points to quickly pray while we rise. But pray as you sit. In. I release myself to you, Jesus. I know you want to do something special, something great in my life. Help me, oh Lord. Can you settle that right now? Brother, sister, mommy and daddy, you know you are far from Christ. You are far from him. You are far from him. And you are asking the Lord, please call. I want to surrender myself to you. And I want to walk with you on a daily basis. Wherever you are, just raise your right hand wherever you are as you are seated you want to set settle that issue with god i'm releasing myself to him god bless you god bless you raise it above your head i want to pray with you from now jesus come into my life i want to know you deeper i want to know you more i want to know you more god bless you brother god bless you god bless you I need more people that are making up their mind. God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. Yes, I surrender myself to him. The more you know him, the more he will constantly come for you. God bless you. Confess your sin. Congratulations, those of you. Congratulations. Where you are seated, confess your sin. Ask God to come into your life anew. Ask Jesus to come. Congratulations. I rejoice with you, brother. I rejoice with you, sister. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Your name is written in the book of life. Tell him you repent today. And you begin to walk with him on a daily basis. Thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Thank you for saving this one. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 
ask the Lord to come into your life and help you live a righteous life and tell him to show you help on daily basis thank you father father I pray for this one that you are going to save you are going to restore and you are going to help write their name in the book of life and let your name forever be glorified in them in Jesus name we pray everyone rise to your feet you want to pray one prayer you lay your right hand on your head because I, I just hope you are going to shout and pray this moment father let my apron of supply be open please don't sit with somebody that cannot shout you are praying for your own dear life you don't follow anybody here because after now i will hand over the key of heavens upon you lay your right hand on your head it is personal it is not collective let my heaven of supply be open constantly open your mother pray now in the name of jesus yes god bless you god bless you father let it be open <laughs> brother pray oh. sister pray that's not it oh i open constantly upon my upon my own upon my family upon everything that has to do with me yes yes upon my business upon my ministry yes pray 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 lord persistent open heaven for supply i wish you are going to pray over that area of your life it can be your health pray consistent open heaven Alagara, you are the mighty God. Hey, la to biki. You are the glorious God. You have one more minute to pray that prayer, please. Open my heavens for consistent flow of blessings. Alagara. You are the mighty God. Hey, la to be you. You are the glorious God. Alabara. You are the mighty God. Oh, oh. Oh, let the rivers flow. Let the rivers of supply come upon you now. Somebody is sharing that testimony. Yes. What you have been waiting for in time of supply, happen now. You are the glorious. Hey. Ah, you are the mighty God. Thank you, Lord. I release over your life with your right hand on your head. From now on, constant divine supply. Yes, I shout amen that your neighbor, you will never be stranded. Help on daily basis provision on daily basis divine health on daily basis receive in the name of Jesus the Lord bless you the Lord keep you and help on every side locate you thank you heavenly father blessed be the name of the Lord my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by christ jesus if you are the one give god a shout